Hey guys, it's me Desek, and today I'm going to be reviewing Hole's brand new album called Black Hole Final Chapter, which came out about a week ago, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, as you already know, Hall released his new album like almost a week ago, which consists of 13 tracks, and yeah, all, all of these songs are so good, at least from what I heard in the mix, they're pretty great. And yeah, I'm just gonna skip the whole somewhere because since I already did a video for that, I'm just gonna skip that one and go for the rest of them. So yeah, I'll boost into 12 tracks uh, So for me, uh, the first one will be Holes Project 98 Initial drop, oof. I like the harmonics in that, and you know, like the lead, the lead is so good. Oof. Okay, so starting off, that was really good. I really did enjoy that song. I mean, that initial draw when it goes like, like, dun, 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 boom. I mean, oh, that's really good. I really do enjoy that. And yeah, just a really great song. So moving on to technically the third song uh, is Hole's Bass Club. Thank you. 
That's really good. I really good. And also, I like the fact that it's so squelchy, especially that part where it goes like. Well, dun, 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 well. Okay, so I would say uh, also this song, I just imagine it, like it's something in a factory, like you know, you're working on your uh, pieces, you know, like uh, you know, like someone is like destroying, you know, junk or something like that, you know, like you know, you go to the process of destroying or creating something, and to me, that's something like that. But at least for the sound design and the flow of it is so good and yeah it's, it's another great song now moving on to the fourth song is his collab with Infect and it's called The Polar time without drums and that flow like really that's something like Infect is well known for So on this song, I like the fact that both of their flows, you know, their styles work so well together. And I feel like, in, at least in this part, the sound design is more infect influence than holes. I feel like a uh, hole probably focus more on the sub bass. <laughs> So that was really good. I really did enjoy that. And again, I would say this the style smashed so well together. And the sound design, I believe, is more like Infect influence because, yeah, it's something like our, I would hear from Infect. And the sub bass, it just sounds also like whole, probably took more part in that. I don't know. But yeah, that's, again, it's a really great song. Now, moving on to the fifth song. 
It's called Deadly Art. <laughs> Again, great sound design and great flow, but I don't know, I feel like that kick clap, uh, at least for me it sounds like a kick clap that sounds like almost like too compressed, like I feel like the sound design is more, you know, louder than that kick clap. Okay, so I uh, all I would say is that like that kick clap, I mean again it's not a little bit compressed and I feel like in the second drop there should have been a little bit like a little, little bit of more variation, just a tiny bit, but still it's a pretty great track. And now moving on to the sixth song is his collab with Hurt Box and it's called The Strangers. <laughs> is like the most subtle song that I've heard in this album. I mean the sound design is just very No 
it was really good. I really did enjoy that. And also the fact that just the sound design is so good and it's like, and it sounds like something you can hear in a detox set. Like definitely. Man, that's that's a really solid track. Really good. Now moving on to the seventh song. It's called Falling Star. Just a tiny bit, but when it's ending right like it did right now, like I enjoyed that flow. That was really good. So yeah, I would say it's, it's a good song, even though it has, you know, it's a little bit annoying, at least in the, like with the high, but other than that, it's still good. Now moving on to the eighth song of the compilation, it's called Emotion Lab. Oh, 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 
Perfect. So yeah, that was really good. Now moving on to the next song is his collab with Jago and Hyde, and it's called Space Waves. section of the first drop sounded too compressed like because when I listen to the B section of the first drop that sounded a little bit more louder than the first section I'm sorry the A section so, yeah Okay, so again, it's a good song. I just feel like, I don't know why, because some way it felt like it was compressed. Like again, I will say this, the A section when it hits in the first drop, it just feels like not going too hard. I don't know, maybe it's because of my speakers or something, I don't know. But yeah, and when I go into the B section in, of the first drop, that felt way more louder, at least to me. And that sustain bass in the background, it just feels like, mm, I don't know, like it should be a little bit more louder. I don't know. So, yeah. Now, moving on to the 10th song of the compilation, it is collab with Jiki, and it's called Atmosphere. Hey, this is Jiki. You're locked into the last chapter of the Black Hole series. Oh, oh. So far it's good, but I don't see like or hear like G key or G Quiz influence in the song, at least for me.
It's a good song. I have nothing bad to say about it. I just feel like, for me, I couldn't tell what G3 did because his style is like, what I heard from him is a little bit more different than this. I mean, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what he did. It feels like whole have more in this than G3. But yeah. Again, still pretty great song. I don't know what GP did, but either way, it's still good. Still good. Now moving to the eleventh song of the compilation is his collab with AFK, and it's called Critical. It has a voice. Sounds way more thicker. Okay, now moving on to the 12th song of the compilation is Disco Rhythm Black Hole Edition. So technically it's a VIP.
you know, I'm surprised that he decided to make uh, this version of Disco Rhythm into a house. I thought when I listened to it in the mix that it was just an ID. So, yeah. Okay, so that was a really great song and all I can say just I wish there was a little bit more at the end like it will have way more variation but for a house track it's really good because you know you have all the elements that make a really great house track you know the, the sound design is really good you know it's subtle and also the elements in the background work so well together especially those vocals that you can hear in the background those are really good elements so yeah, I would say this is a really great uh, VIP. Now moving on to the last song of the compilation is his collab with Hesh and it's called Cybernetic Organism. Okay, so that's it. That's Hole's Black Hole Final Chapter album. And I gotta say, it was really great. I mean, there were some songs that were kind of like, just a little bit, just some of the songs, some of them were kind of like, eh, just a little eh. But the rest of them are really great. I mean, I really enjoyed the flow, the sound design, and you know, the creativity. And 
yeah, I will have to say that my favorite songs of this compilation are, even though I skipped this one, uh, is Somewhere. Because if you already watched my video before this, I mean, this song is really great. Also, Project 98, Bass Club. I would say uh, his collab with Herbux, The Strangers, which is for me the most solo of them all. Also, Critical, uh, Disco Rhythm, Black Hole Edition, and his collab with Hash, uh, Cybernetic Organism. And also, like I would say this, like uh, an honorable mention would be his collab with Infect, uh, The Polar. So yeah, uh, guys, I hope you enjoy watching my reaction slash review of it and yeah please leave a like and subscribe if you want to uh click on the notification bell to keep you guys updated on my next videos and yeah this is dexx signing off